am uh, doing this. Uh, again, my name is Vince Gansberg. I'm doing this uh, on behalf of well, several organizations, um, but it's mainly just for youth soccer and and just some uh, two ideas to uh, for clubs to maybe uh, implement to help create social change um, within their organization. So I'm going to share my screen. So if you can bear with me a second, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get started there with that. So as you can see here. Uh, Basically, uh, you, you can see the title of this little hangout, but uh, I'm going to go go ahead and get started. My my local club uh, allow allows me to do some things, uh, hopefully creative things for for good. And uh, uh, one thing that we did is we had an anti-bullying week where the coaches were uh, uh, throughout the week encouraged to have pre-practice handshakes, uh, getting kids in circles and saying positive things about what they did after practice. This is for all ages, 5 to 14 in our recreation program. Uh, and we, we, had a, we ended it off with an anti-bullying day, match day, on Saturday uh, a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to go ahead and share just some of those things. We also included the referees. Um, so as you can see, the ball has uh, duct tape on it. And on the duct tape are anti-bullying slogans, which I'll get into here in a little bit. But had to inform the referees because, uh, well, you have a ball on with duct tape, and they are sticky people. Uh, they they are to the letter of the law, and uh, but they embraced it. I think they appreciated what we were trying to do um, because anti-bullying also applies to coaches as well, and kind of you know leaving those young referees alone too. So. Uh, we want to make sure that the referees felt like they were included as well, that we're trying to help our coaches and our parents also realize that we have a lot of young teenage referees within our club. One of the first thing, well, I told the coaches to do two things um, when they arrive on Saturday. And, uh, well, one of the first things we did, though, is uh, have the two teams to come together. Uh, as you can see here, the ball um, – has little duct tape on it uh, in the middle, and but we brought the two teams together. We had a pre-match handshake, which is unusual in recreation soccer. Uh, we had one coach doing it because the other coach what hadn't arrived yet, which is common, <laughs> unfortunately, with grassroots and recreation soccer. But the two teams uh, came together. They shook hands. The coach did a wonderful job in explaining what was on the ball ask them to come up with some different ideas, and it took three to four minutes, and that was it. Um, and then they got playing. In hindsight, we should have done this on a dry day. Uh, it was kind of a cloudy day, as you can see, and it was a little moist. The, the tape was coming off uh, by halftime, uh, but that's okay. So you try things, and you learn from it, and you make it better next time. Um, and then I probably should have started with this slide, but unfortunately I put it reversed. But we actually had slogans on the ball, and the slogans were anything from be nice to buddies, not bullies. The coaches kind of wrote on their own uh, on the game ball the slogans. Uh, we, I gave them some ideas. And, uh, you know, and the, the coaches basically, before they went to the field, they came, got some white duct tape from me, stood and wrote the sl slogans on the ball. Um, and uh, took off. So this is a group of U12s, so you can see here that um, even older kids did it. But we even have the little, the wee ones in here, as you can see. Uh, it's a 3v3 game, but it's really one against five. And even the wee ones, you can see the, the ball has duct tape on it, and the coaches uh, just talked to them a little bit about being nice and, and uh, treating teammates uh, with, with kindness and respect. And you can help the idea of anti-bullying at a young age, as what schools are trying to do, um, well, seems to be more and more uh, in education. The second thing that we did is we, we had a community board. And the community board is just an informal way to educate. I got this from, the, uh, from a TED Talk and from a speaker by the name of Candy Chang. I encourage all of you uh, to watch her talk um, on how to create, uh, how to do like one of these boards. Um, uh, but I, I basically asked my club if they can go get a big dry erase board and, and, uh, or some easel paper or poster paper, as you can see here. They did. They got some Sharpies. In hindsight, I should have had different color Sharpies uh, to, to make the, 
and look a little more colorful. But uh, I'll go ahead and get started on how we implemented this idea to help create social change. We had a sentence starter, and the one I just wrote on there was, I play soccer because, uh, and, and uh, I had to start recruiting kids and uh, getting them, getting them uh, over. And I got this one young man over, and uh, basically he wrote really small, and I told him you can write as big as you want. Uh, but, but he wrote really small, and he was very respectful. And uh, basically, but think about it, it, you can do this for parents too. Uh, what if you had a sentence starter that said, today while I watch my child play, I will, and then maybe, and dot, 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 and maybe you as a director, you can have uh, encourage uh, my player when they come off, or, or shout only encouragement while they play, or not yell at the referee, or not criticize them on the way home. So... Uh, after the game, so you can you can figure out a different sentence starter if you will, but but again, lots of different ways you can do it, and and uh, again, the purpose is though to get them to kind of informally educate themselves, and it, it really went a long way with this. Um, all ages did it. You can see this is a 14, 13, 14 year old player, uh, uh, recreation player, and uh, all of our teams, by the way, are MLS teams. Um, and, you know, he, this young man wrote to have a good time. Um, again, did I say all ages? I did. Uh, this is a little five-year-old. I, I had to take a picture and post this one on the presentation because I was amazed at her handwriting. <laughs> and, uh, and she wrote really big. And uh, she just wrote, you know, I play soccer because I love soccer. Uh, it was very engaging. You can see here more and more kids are watching what each other was writing. Um, they were uh, very respectful. They were taking their turns, but, but I loved the engagement that it brought. And uh, it was, it was fan fantastic for me to see the, the dynamics of them, uh, of, the, of, the, of our soccer community come together for this. Um, it's very easy to do. It's very simple. Like I said, in hindsight, maybe I should have put some uh, different, uh, uh, different color Sharpies up there so they can write. You can see here the kids are, are waiting in line. You can see the board, the, sorry, the uh, the side kind of filling up, if you will. The overall theme appeared to be fun, and this is why, how I mean you can use it for social change. Sometimes it's, it's really important to remind parents why children play. Well, it's in black and white, literally here on the board and, uh, or on this, on this wall, or if you will. And the word fun on there was everywhere. And, and I don't think it was because they, they looked at someone else's response and they just wrote fun. They were just writing. Um, so, you know, some wrote on there, you know, is to get exercise and so on. But uh, the, the, evid the, the, the word that was on there the most was the word fun. You can also inspire, uh, you know, one, one uh, little girl actually wrote because I'm a good goalie. And uh, so, you know, maybe that's what she dreams to be. Uh, maybe she wants to be another Hope Solo or Brianna Scurry, and, and that's what we want our kids to do. Um, so what do you have to, to lose? Nothing. Uh, we, our anti-bullying uh, campaign was, was met with very little resistance, and the only resistance we got was, well, basically, the coaches didn't read the email and, uh, you know, just didn't know what was going on. So uh, they kind of felt embarrassed. But... Uh, seriously, what do you have to lose? These were two simple ideas to create social change, to create a better environment for kids to, to smile more, to feel accepted, and uh, to feel like they belong. And, uh, and the answer is, what do you have to lose? The answer is, well, nothing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go back to me just for a second, just to uh, end here. Um, and, uh, oh, I think I am. So anyway, but... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's not too long and too windy for you. Like I said, I did this on behalf of well, several organizations I do things for, uh, but mainly I did it uh, for the benefit of youth soccer because we, we need children to want to keep playing, uh, to not drop out because they've been picked on or been bullied on or, or because for some reason along the way parents have forgotten that Children play for fun. And by the word on that, by the way, on that little board, the word "win" wasn't on there one time. So, anyway, thank you very much. Have a wonderful.
Memorial Day weekend. God bless our country. God bless our troops. And uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, my email is gkprojectvg at gmail.com. Again, my name is Vince